Welcome to the Financial Life Podcast with me, Ben Robel. Thanks for listening in. As a starting point for my first real episode, this podcast is intended to be a supplement to what I've been posting on Instagram so far and other social media channels. This channel, this medium, is better built to dig into the details and nuances of some of the topics we cover. Hopefully, we'll be able to expand this into something else, something larger as we go. But for now, that's going to be the intent. I'd love to hear feedback. If you have it, you can reach me at bwrobele at gmail.com. You can also find links to all of my social media sites at benrobel.com. The first week of posts that I did on Instagram focused on the top five questions that I used to get in first meetings. Now, these aren't the right questions. These aren't the best questions. These were the most common, relevant questions. And number five was, what do you think is going to happen in the market? So first of all, I think it's important to determine what we mean by the market. There are stock markets, bond markets, options markets, commodities markets, currencies markets. What most people mean is the stock market. What most people mean is some sort of, what do you think the Federal Reserve is going to do that will impact the stock market and maybe the bond market? What most people are asking is, what do you think about the economy? How do these things fit together and what will it do to the investment world? To me, this is a question people have sort of been taught to ask. And not taught in terms of educated, but because this conversation is literally everywhere, the internet, television, newspapers, magazines, podcasts, you name it, the conversation about the financial world is happening all around us. And so this is a topic that people think they need to have an opinion about. And at the same time, there are already thousands of voices doing this. Every single day, hundreds of people parade themselves across Bloomberg, CNBC, uh, talk radio to discuss and go into more detail about their views on, quote, the market. It's important to remember that many of these people say contradictory things to each other. And if you mix them all together, you would find yourself probably more confused than enlightened. And it's also important to remember that sometimes people do this with ulterior motives. Somebody could make an investment, go on to CNBC and talk about that investment in the hopes of driving people toward it by making it sound more valuable. That doesn't mean they've done anything wrong, but it does mean they're, quote, talking their book is what they call it in the financial world. For those of us who are investors, and I think about that word in the way that Warren Buffett thinks about that word, you're putting together a bunch of capital inside a plan of some kind to achieve some goals out into the future. This conversation is not as important as you think it is. And the reason is that you're going to be invested for a series of years. And so standing here today, it's very difficult to tell you which of those years is going to be the most important and the most impactful. That doesn't mean we want to be the person who puts all of their money into the market on September 14th, 2008, only to see Lehman Brothers go bankrupt the next day. But it does mean that we're trying to get into the market to make some returns. We can get in cautiously, we can get in aggressively, and that's a conversation to be had with our advisors or with our family or with ourselves using a calculator or Excel or some kind of software. But don't get too hung up on what is the market going to do because virtually nobody knows, which is why every time somebody gets it right, both the event and the timing, it's an incredible story. I'm thinking of the big short here where there were only a few people who really nailed the downturn in the economy based on the housing market. Investing is a longer term game. You will make mistakes. You will get some things right. Getting too focused on what's going to happen right now can be a distraction to getting you where you need to go. Hope this is helpful. Have a great day.